Good day and welcome to KDS Tech. Today we are going to be unboxing ASUS's Republic of Gamers Maximus 11 Extreme, their $600 motherboard. It's an extreme price tag, but is it worth it? Here's our boxing. Uh, on the outside it tells you that it's got the Intel uh, chipset, the Z390 chipset. Uh, it supports Intel Optane memory and has Intel inside, so uh, obviously. Supports NVIDIA SLI as well as AMD Crossfire and then has your ASUS Aura Sync software, however you feel about that. Sometimes it works great, sometimes it's a complete disaster. Let's get into the box here and see what we got. All right, um, oh, we don't need that. Ooh, here is the motherboard in its glory. We will get this out here. Actually, we'll take this whole thing out and we'll set this up to the side and come back to that. Uh, we have a uh, sticker sheet. You can never go wrong with that, I guess. Especially if you want to label your wires. Of course, there won't be many wires when I build this, this thing. First spot here, what do we have? We have, oh, instruction manual. Looks like your instruction manual. You got discount code for cable mods. Awesome cables. Oh, uh, the fan extension, fan extension card installation guide. We can uh, take a look at that. That's a nice piece I'm looking forward to. Coaster. Yeah. All right. We got a coaster. Yay. All right, we'll get that over there. What else we got? All right, oh, yeah, here's the fan extension card. I wish uh, this was included on the Maximus 11 formula, um, even though it's got more fan headers than this one does. Uh, there's a reason why, and I'll show you in a little bit here. Oh, that's pretty handy. I like that. Come back to that a little bit as well. Oh, I got. Oh, USB drive with utilities and drivers. Well, that's nice. I like that better than having a CD. I mean, who uses CD ROMs all that often anymore, anyway? I, I don't even know. Screw kit. There right now. Piece of it looks like. Okay, exciting. And here we have, looks like, oh, here we go, our DIM.2. We'll come back to that. And that's for our M2s. We have a bunch of SATA cards, SLI, a sticker, kind of thing real exciting there. And more cables. Okay. All right. Well, we will come to the motherboard here. Okay, coming to the motherboard itself here first. That's right. See what else we got. Oh, more up here. Ooh, I can't wait to see this turn on. We got some LED zones here for information. Obviously, I'm all oh, this will light up here. This will tell you your clock readout. So, be interesting to see how this all works. All right, first off, we're just going to start up here at the top. It looks like we got two eight pin. Uh, EATX 12 volt plugins. I'm not sure if we would really need them or not. I suppose if you're doing LN2 clocking, you would, but for what we are going to use it for, uh, heck, we'll probably end up plugging them both in anyway. Doesn't really matter, I suppose. I got a very nice heat sink on here. And looks like you might have 10 phases. I'm not sure if they double them though, so it might actually be five. I'll have to take a look at that at another, another point. What I like about this motherboard is there is some really nice layout uh, features to this, I guess. First, I noticed that they are really, they're grouping a lot of the fan header, headers together in, in spots that make a lot of sense. Um, I do like the fact that they've included this guy, the extension, uh, fan card extension. The reason I like this is because I don't feel like they give you enough headers on here um, if you want to run all of your fans directly off of the motherboard. 
Obviously, I know a lot of people like to use fan hubs. They're, they're, they can be very clean. Sometimes they're buggy. Um, but regardless, I do like the fact that they include this with this motherboard. Of course, it's $600. I feel like they should add quite a few accessories. Um, anyway, uh, so you've got uh, your four hand, fan headers right up here. You've got um, an RGB header as well as an addressable RGB header right up here. You can tell because you get your four pin for your... RGB standard RGB you have your three pen for your addressable RGB which you're gonna have another three pen down here as well as another four pen for your standard um, obviously you get your 1151 socket for your um, I suppose in this you know you're gonna put a 9900k I don't know why in the world you'd put a 9700 in this uh, 9700k you know a lot of motherboard for uh, that processor with the four dim slots, which is uh, nice for the memory uh, It says support up to 64 gigs of memory uh, You've got your dim dot 2 which I'm going to come back to that right now since we've got that What I like It's got some heavy-duty heat sinks on it What's nice is they allow you to do raid configuration on this so obviously you're going to get your Gonna get your uh, M.2 is put in here, and pretty straightforward. Curious to see if they've got a heat sink under here. I don't believe they do. I don't know why they would do that on such an expensive motherboard. Boy, we'll, uh, we'll come back to it. Uh, you've got your um, memory OK switch over here, which is interesting. I guess you'd probably always leave that on anyway. You've got your LED, your postcode uh, readout. Tells you if you've got any issues or, or you know kind of give you a guide as to where that might be your switches for slow mo slow mode as well as rsvd yeah i love these you've got your start and your reset switches nice switches for if you want to just work directly off the motherboard um you know you're doing overclocking and they're not working correctly so i really like that you get your safe boot and you got your retry Buttons right here as well. Obviously, you're a 24 pin. Uh, you're going to come back to your. What do we got? Oh, I like your uh, USB 3.1. I like how they've got these set up here. I like the fact that it's angled directly off the board. Uh, I know some of them are 90 degrees, but a lot of your pins come in straight, so that'll be nice and clean. You get your SATAs, obviously. And then you've got. Um, your water pump. Now I love this. The fact that you've got two water pump dedicated headers on here. I don't understand why they don't do that on the Maximus formula line. Your formula comes with uh, an EK water block on the VRM for cooling. It's a water cool. It's meant for a water cooling extreme motherboard, and they give you one water pump. Uh, header on the on the uh, formula lines. I just don't get that. I like the fact they did it on this But you would think that they would do that on the one that's actually advertises your water uh, your water cooling motherboard uh, You got your front panels and your speaker spots down here and you got some more uh, fan headers nice another uh, USB header down here as well as you got your USB 2 headers um, RGB we already covered that you get your sound uh, sound chips over here. I like the fact that they do have the 3 by 16 lanes up here as well as a uh, by 1. So if you've got any uh, expansion cards that you can utilize that by 1 with. And you've got a fan header sitting right over here. Um, it's pretty straightforward. This is a nice looking motherboard. I love how it feels. It's a very very heavy dewy it feels very well made like this thing is probably I'm not gonna drop it but uh, you probably couldn't wouldn't destroy it. I wouldn't suggest it however let's take a look at the back here so obviously you've got this is one of my favorite features on uh, the Asus does first off I love the Asus um, BIOS I just think it's the best BIOS out there in my opinion uh, I know that Gigabyte has supposedly made some changes in their most recent line. I'd like to get my hands on 
one of those and play around with their BIOS, but I just, I've not been a fan of a lot of the BIOSes that are out there outside of the ASUS BIOS. You got your uh, BIOS flash. This is fantastic. You can basically just have your computer off, put your uh, USB drive in here, press and hold this, and it starts flashing. It flashes the BIOS for you. It's it's fantastic. I've, I use it all the time. Clear CMOS button. I like the fact that this is on the uh, IO shield as well, on the back panel. Uh, HDMI, you've got uh, your SP 3.1s. Um, 5 gig LAN. I wish that they did a 10 gig LAN on their $600 motherboard like what a Gigabyte does on their $550 motherboard. So for 50 bucks less, the Gigabyte I know has a 10 gig LAN uh, as well as that actually has a, a lot more phases than this does. I, I am curious to see how this overclocks. Obviously Asus is known for their overclocking, but I am curious as to why this for $600 doesn't have a lot of the same features that the Gigabyte board does for 50 bucks less on their top end motherboard. Uh, it does have Wi-Fi built in, which is convenient. Um, mostly I'm wired via LAN, but you know, still is nice. I do want to take a look at this. I'm going to grab my, my fix-it kit here. Let's see what we got going on under here for the M.2 slots Interesting. So it looks like we have sticker on here. Oh, this is a thermal pad. Okay, so we have thermal pads on here for the M.2s. As you can see, you got two one right here, right here. Looks like you plug in the one right here. You can plug in another one down here. Interesting. I don't understand why they don't have a nicer heat sink like what they do on the. Uh, the dim dot two for their for their um, M.2 dot two slots. Interesting. I wonder how much this is heat. This is going to dissipate. It's going to help somewhat, I would suppose. But still, I'm uh, surprised it doesn't have something a little bit more substantial to it. Hmm. hmm. Better put this back together here. Okay, so put this back together real quick. Why are these little screws so difficult to deal with sometimes? So pretty straightforward. I mean, it's a great looking motherboard. I am, uh, I've had several Asus boards uh, there. Obviously the build quality is fantastic. Their BIOS has always been amazing. So I am very curious to see what this looks like. We'll get uh, a few more close-ups of this thing and wrap up this video. Okay, so the Maximus 11 Extreme motherboard. $600. It's quite uh, a lot of features for it. I love the layout. Obviously, their BIOS is legendary. I'm curious to play around with it once I get into the uh, into the BIOS. I'm going to get it hooked up on the wet bench here. Uh, hook up uh, 9900K, 2080 Ti, and see how this thing actually functions in the real world once I have the water cooling loop set up on that as well. Um, we will determine in the next video what we really think about how this performs. I may even throw 9700 into it just to see how much of a difference there is between the two chips. 
But uh, in the meantime, I am ex very pleased with how it comes out of the box. I love the look of it. I like the potential layout. Uh, I'm curious to see if there's a performance difference by using the M.2s uh, in the DIM2 uh, slots as opposed to the actual uh, M.2 slots on the motherboard itself. Um, these are things we're gonna find out in the upcoming video that we will do next week. Have a great day. Thank you for joining us today.